Hello there, welcome to my views and news, another video for you, two new stories, first one is from Gondar, Gondar a city where military and uh, prosperity party officials are trying to talk to Fano commanders. Not only Fano commanders, but local elders and youths too. Uh, have there been some meetings between Fano commanders and some prosperity party top officials? Which officials? I have details for you uh, about this important development in Gondar. Secondly, Tegarai viewers, where during Ashinda celebrations, a girl lost her life. Zaidu Haftu. I did a video on that. Today there was a protest uh, in support of uh, the deceased uh, Zaidu Haftu. What is Makale police doing? Is it trying to cover up the murder of Zaidu Haftu? Who is involved in the death of Zaidu Haftu? Where is Sam Hill, the other girl uh, who was injured and transported to a hospital in Makale? Let's start from Gondar viewers. Gondar, which came under Fano control a few weeks ago, and we saw big rally in support of Fano in Gondar when military retreated from uh, its base in a southern part of Gondar city. Then came counteroffensive from the north, and Fano fighters lost control of Gondar city. Since then, Gondar has been under ENDF control. And Ethiopian National Defense Force and Prosperity Party leaders are trying to talk to Gondar Fano. Though if you remember a few days ago, Gondar Fano issued a statement. It rejected the idea of talks with the government. It said, Rumours uh, are being spread that Gondar Fano is in talks with uh, the government. No talks will be held. Talks uh, unilaterally, Gondar Fano will not talk to the government, uh, Ethiopian government. Uh, some meetings have been held reportedly. Which government officials are busy trying to attract Gondar Fano? Which government officials. Daniel Kebre, who is very critical of Gondra Fano on the one hand, on the other, he is trying to talk to them. Zinash Tayachu. Zinash is PM Abi's wife. She is from Gondar. She has a family there. Obviously, connection there. Thirdly, Melaku Elabel. Melaku Elabel is an Amhara minister. Federal Minister of Industries, serving for years, top prosperity party uh, minister from the Mahara region. These three and some other government officials, they are in Gondar reportedly. They have had some talks, some talks in Gondar, some in Addis Ababa. Unconfirmed reports are suggesting the two Fano commanders held talks with these prosperity party leaders. Unconfirmed, I would say, because obviously uh, it's a big news if it is confirmed. Some sources are reporting that meeting was held. That is why Gondar Fano had to issue a statement saying that it wouldn't uh, unilaterally start talks with the government. Some engagements have happened between Gondar Fano and these leaders. Now, Gondar Fano is not just one Fano faction. It's not that just uh, Massafent or Sefer Malase or Gondar Fano. Gondar Fano consists of several Fano brigades. Uh, are all brigades in talks with the Ethiopian federal government? No. We have no confirmation that a joint mechanism has been established for talks with the government. 
Two commanders on their own reportedly they met with prosperity party leaders. Firstly, secondly, Ethiopian military is trying to uh, talk to local elders and youths. If you remember, more than a month ago, when there was a two-day uh, complete strike in Gondar, after that talks were held between Gondar Fan, Gondar elders and military, talks succeeded and military retreated. Uh, strike came to an end. Fano retreated from the city and life in city uh, uh, returned to normalcy. Once again. Military is trying to talk to elders. Two representatives from each cabale uh, are being nominated. Uh, two elders from each cabale. These elders are going to meet with Ethiopian National Defense Force officers. Military's target are two groups, elders and youths. Youths are Fano's potential recruits, so military is trying to attract them and secondly, military is trying to talk to local elders. They could be bribed too, by the way. Uh, some sources say that uh, offers are being made to Gondar uh, elders, offers of money, other types of offers to youths as well. It's a crucial season for Gondar people, for everyone, for farmers in the Amhara region. If farmers don't have uh, seeds, fertilizers, if they don't have money, obviously they cannot farm their lands. And the Amhara region is facing different crises. So, so that is why military and government are trying to attract the elders and uh, youths through financial incentives reportedly. Who are the two Gondar Fano commanders? Why did they meet? Did they consult with their uh, Fano commanders, Fano members? No. They held talks on their own without consulting other Gondar Fano commanders. So, I think that military and government are trying to split Fano factions. That is why they are talking to some Fano commanders and leaving uh, others aside. Let's see, can Gondar Fano stay united? Uh, will the elders uh, be influenced by Zinash Tacho, uh, Daniel Kebre? Malako level and others that we'll see in coming days. Secondly, we are Zatigarai Makale, where, innocent, where an innocent girl lost her life in Makale during Ashinda celebrations. Uh, more than a week ago, she was killed in Makale while she was on her way uh, to a place, but a vehicle uh, stopped. Uh, and reportedly the uh, people, uh, the, the men in the vehicle, they tried to harass her, they harassed her in fact, and they tried to drag her into the vehicle, she resisted uh, and uh, then she was uh, dragged by the men in the vehicle while vehicle was being driven and vehicle drove over. Uh, Zaidu Haftu's uh, body. That is what was reported more than a week ago when we heard about Zaidu Haftu's death. Her friend Samuel, another girl, was injured but she survived. Zaidu Haftu died. Samuel was transported to, uh, uh, she was shipped to the hospital and she was receiving treatment there but no one was allowed to meet Samuel. Today, a protest was held in support of Zaidu Haftu in Aksom, protest by the women of Tegarai. Women of Tegarai are the bravest women in the world, I would say. These women, these girls suffered a lot in the two-year-long war. They fought on front lines. They, uh, they managed to keep 
the family is uh, intact they took care of family members they have lost husbands uh, they have lost brothers they have lost fathers still they are surviving they deserve respect from the entire world but uh, integrai uh, men in power perhaps uh, don't acknowledge the sacrifices of women uh, the way it should be acknowledged now what is happening is that reportedly makale police is trying to cover up the murder of zaidu haftu zaidu haftu's family uh, contacted makale police makale police is trying to convert this murder into an accident a car accident a vehicle accident that zaidu haftu uh, died because uh, uh, a car ran over her it, it, it's purely uh, an accident road accident case while identity of the vehicle has not been disclosed by the police so far where is sam hill under pressure maybe she could be forced to change her statement people uh, close to uh, the investigation uh, they say that some big names are involved in this incident that is why car's identity vehicle identity has not been disclosed and this murder is being converted into a road accident we are seeing voices now from tegarai to uh, we saw protest in aksom some tegarayan activists are sharing posts demanding justice for zaidu haftu tegarayan diaspora should protest to i would say the grand diaspora is united it uh, protested several times uh, for uh, accountability for war crimes committed against women in tegarai this time diaspora is largely silent no uh, protest in support of zaidu haftu no statement from top tegarai officials where is professor kindeya while women protesting in tegarai where is uh, gatacho no statement silence this murder is being covered up it seems if it is not a murder if it is a purely car accident road accident at least at least the investigation should be conducted in a very transparent manner local media national media should be given access to sam hill to the investigation investigators should tell the world what they are doing what is the evidence and uh, family should be allowed to speak freely as well but what we have learnt from makale is that an effort is being made by uh, some groups to silence the family to cover up the murder of zaidu haftu uh, the vehicle was without a tag without a number plate reportedly and Uh, in tegra it's common to see top military commanders top tpl officials drive vehicles without plates without tags why because obviously no one is there to stop them that is why we saw a protest uh this week by tegra combatants not the first protest they protested several times uh, in the past few weeks they say that uh, they did not fight for the leaders who are enjoying they fought for the people who are suffering so this is the situation from makale let's hope that tegra interim government its spokespersons they tell international media national media local media about zaidu haftu's death i would again say that tegra and diaspora should not keep quiet this is the time to speak for tegra's ladies Thanks for watching.